Welcome everybody to Bible Bites. I'm Pastor Dan. We are reading through the Bible one small bite at a time. We're beginning Matthew 25. Jesus is still speaking about his second coming. All of Matthew 24 was about that. We also need to remember that Jesus is speaking to his disciples. They were part of the Jewish people. And so Jesus has that in mind. Some people think this is purely about the church, and I don't think that's the case. Actually, I think Jesus is really referring much more to the Jewish people. Let's, let's pick up then in verse 1. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. So the, the, Jesus says, then the kingdom of heaven. We know that he's still talking about his second coming. The ten virgins, we would think of them today as uh, bridesmaids. Okay, Five of them were foolish uh, and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. It is possible that in this parable, the oil has uh, symbolizes something. But I actually don't think that's so important. Because the bigger principle that Jesus is teaching us is what he, is what he wants us to see, which is, be prepared, be ready, be faithful, be expecting Jesus to, to come again. The, the Messiah is going to come. He's going to bring forth uh, the, the kingdom of heaven. This is at the point at which it's, it's imminent, right? And you'll understand that language if, if, we, if you'd seen uh, read through Matthew 24. Now it says, as the bridegroom was delayed, that is the groom, that's Jesus Christ. They all became drowsy and slept. Uh, so it's not saying that uh, Jesus is somehow slow or that it just, uh, that, you know, uh, he, he was trying to get here but couldn't for some reason. No, it's just meaning that from our perspective, it seems like it's taking longer than, than we would expect says, they all became drowsy and slept. Again, these are the bridesmaids that are to be helping the, the bride get ready. Yeah, they should be watching and waiting for the groom to come. And I believe in the, the one of the customs, at least of the Jewish people in that day, was that the groom would, would travel from his residence and all of his groomsmen with him. And they would come to the residence of the bride where all the bridesmaids, of course, were watching and waiting. So it says in verse 6, But at midnight, so that would be a time when you wouldn't really expect, there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. They were not prepared, not expecting. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. So the wedding started. The feast uh, started. And after the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, truly, I say to you, I do not know you. It's too late. There's a time and a point at which it's too late. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The importance of right now, being prepared, waiting, watchful, alert, for the second coming of Jesus Christ is this important because there's a time when it is just too late. I think that's Jesus' big picture principle that has application for all of us, not just the Jewish people, but 
Certainly, I believe Jesus had them in mind as he was telling this parable. We'll look at another parable that's along these same lines. Jesus is still talking about his second coming, uh, but we'll do that in our next video, and that'll be with uh, starting in verse 14. Till then, be blessed.